Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick, we're playing Stationeers. No, oh, we're still building a Mars. We have got our... Um, this stuff. We did the fuel mixer last time, so we've got a new chip in here. Our composters are still composting. I've got a heap of crap in there. Ah, uh, so I've actually got all these ones shut off. They are just operating on all these ones. So I could pull them out and put food in again, but they're kind of connected up to the chutes to over there. So that's not going to be quite so easy. Um, but these ones are all producing food. I have got plenty of food. And oh, I did notice that if you look down here at my water, up to 172% there, because... Uh, and you have to excuse the floor in here I painted. That might be a bit much. Uh, but I did find out that um, our good old bread, which is just uh, flour and oil, um, if we look into bread, oop, this is superior food. So I can get a 75% extra hydration there if I eat that stuff. And it, it's just wheat and soy that that's all it is I need the two ingredients and I can get my superfood so I've been chowing down on bread um, but yeah it does weird things to you it makes your paint floors purple so careful with that uh, yeah and what I've been thinking that we um we are making this our fertilizer out of biomass which we're getting out of there you can also make um, composter we can make our fertilizer out of uh, food, decayed food or biomass. We're using biomass and that increases the number of growth cycles we get out of each fertilizer. It'll get used up after you use it a few times. Uh, but if we make it out of decayed food, we can better get better grant plant growth speed. Uh, so if we make it out of that, our perennials don't use any of the... Uh, fertilizer it just keeps growing and growing so if I put some of them in with the increased growth speed up to two times I should be able to produce twice as much out of this group here instead of having it running off two rows I could have it just running off one row yay so I've been trying to produce some great uh, uh, food so I've taken down some uh, of me hay I've still got to wait seven hours till that decays so yeah, we'll just um, wait, wait a bit longer. You put down piles, I think they only decay one at a time. So I've separated these out into singles. So that should all turn into decayed food in one go. And then I'll have some super fast growing plants. And ooh, I was told that there's another, I didn't even notice, but there is a second version of this thing. Uh, yoink, which is uh yeah an electric one oh cool there is two uh why i mean what part of a shower thinks geez i should add electricity to this but um sake of a uh, morbid curiosity uh that is still in and out of the back we have power either side by the looks of it uh, so if we're still making that the same way, I think we've got a screwdriver. No power. Rightio, that's fair enough. It doesn't work without power. Why would you want a powered one? Um, oh, awesome. <laughs> Uh, well, I could automate it and switch it on. Or if I put a, if I put an occupancy sensor in there, I could have it switch on the shower as soon as I walk in there, and I wouldn't have to go to all the effort of turning the knob. Wouldn't that be the most grotesque abuse of automation so far? So let's do it. Uh, a sensor, one of them, and I need you, and a, a housing, one of them. 
Nice. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll wait. So now, I put an occupancy sensor in there. And where can we put you? Boop, 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 you. I'll say there. Hook you up to the lights. Aha, now he's on. Now we had this either side, so I guess I'm going up. One we power and one we data. I didn't really look to see which was which, but uh, I'll hook them all both up anyway, so that was a data. I don't suppose I can come through there. Yeah, let's put the power along under the, uh... Oh, ha <laughs> Um, I'll get some cables too while I'm at it. Um... Nothing there. Here we have... Oh, uh, one. Maybe more than one. Or not. Okay, cables I shall need. Uh, cables. Uh, make me a couple of stacks of them. Right. Um. Automation. I can stick. Uh, yeah. Why not? At the very important shower circuit. Uh, you. And go again. Wink. And. Uh, I want. You cutters. <laughs> okay. Now, what do we got in there? We have no error, we have power on. Now have an error. I'm guessing the error will flash when I've got a carbonated um, water supply again. Which I have not got. So we're good to go. So I can detect that. So let's um, wire that up. Which I totally didn't forget. Uh, so you... And oh, how many chips am I going to want down here? I couldn't want that many. Not like I go around automating everything. Uh, you boop, 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 and boop. Okay, so let's get some essential stuff happening here. Uh, clear you. So I should want the shower to D0 and alias the light D1, alias the sensor to D2, and we've got the boiler to the other one, alias the beam. boiler to D3. There, the items we'll want to automate on that one. Uh, can I do anything with you? I'll probably need to hook your data up first if you're going to do anything. But if we're going to do something stupid, we may as well do something completely stupid, really. No point in half assing something like that. Uh, so, what can I do with you? Can I sense liquid on the input? 
about ratio liquid I don't have any input uh, combustion well I guess we just want to do it when there's something in there uh, and we've got you and there's water in there 1200 degrees it's not heating up the room so we're probably all right uh right so now i'm going to detect when we're in the room and just switch on the shower can i do that i should be able to uh, so i'll start a yield i shall load into r0 from the sensor the quantity i think it is it tells you how many people are in the room and so it's zero if there's no one in there so i can save that to the light on r zero so if there's someone in there switch a light on and save to the shower open i think it was r zero Jump to the start. Um, was open, wasn't it? Uh, open. Yep. So power is on off. I could just switch the whole thing off, couldn't I? I could do that. And right. I export you into there. Yep. Era. I want you are the shower the light which is the LED the sensor which is the occupancy sensor and the boiler which is the uh, evaporation doohickey right the light switched off <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> That's an essential item to have. Now I just got to load into that one. Uh, ooh, that doesn't take anything in unless it's switched on. Pressure and temperature, we want to say there's nothing there to say check the input. So now you've got stuff in there. Uh, pressure, temperature, ratio of water. So I could switch that on when the shower comes on and then switch it off when the ratio of water gets down to zero. Okay. So how am I going to do that? Because um, that'll just switch it off again as soon as I hop out of the shower. So I don't want to do that. We go in there. We want to switch the boiler on. So save boiler on uh, zero. So that'll switch it on. And it'll switch it back off again. So I want to, uh, before I switch it to that, I also want to check and see if there's any water in there. So I'll load into uh, R1 from the uh, boiler. Uh, we've got, oh, what is it, ratio of water or total moles or something like that. Total moles, no. We have ratio liquid, polluted water. Um... Ratio water, polluted water, total liquid, 
I do not have a total liquid. Okay, so I'm going to have to check for water and polluted water. Okie dokie. Um, so, uh, boiler. Uh, were you. Uh, come on. Ratio. Polluted water. Load into R2. Boiler the ratio of a water. Um, so I can just take whatever the maximum of those two is. If there's either of them in there, there is liquid in there. So if I say the the maximum, uh, we'll just reuse R1. He's the maximum of R1 or R2, which is a polluted water or boiled water. And we'll set greater than a zero. Uh, R1. Well, it's going to be greater than zero anyway. Ah, oh, we'll just yeah, we'll just do that. So if that's greater than one, we don't want to switch it off. So I should say, if there's someone in there, or there's water in there. So our keyword will be or. And we'll just combine them into R zero. That should work. Export you into there. You switched off. You switched off and you're still on. Until all the water boils. And then you should switch off. Add water three. You. Bud and getting there. Switch off. Ah. <laughs> nice. Um, I probably just need to check for me. Uh, uh, water can't do it now, don't I? Uh, so, if... Does that flash an error when there's carbon dioxide in there? Because it, uh, if I use the right one, it does have the error thing on there. So if I switch it off, it goes to an error. If it's got the liquid CO2 in there, does that also go to an error? Um, maybe. So I could do stuff. Now that goes all the way through each loop. So I could say, uh, continue on down here. So load into R0 from the shower. Error. Right, so if it's 0, we're all good. Um, yeah, we're all good if it's um, our error is one. Uh, I should say select. Um, R0, we'll change the color of the light in there. So if there is an error, so select R0 based on R0. If there is an error, um, you say red. If there's no error, uh, green, green, green. Uh, save a light. Color R0. Uh, let's, uh, maybe not green, let's keep it to white. 
You don't know what white is? Um, okay, let's see if that's just a UI error. Export U. That's a UI error. Okay. Yep. I suppose we won't know if that works until it actually goes red, will we? But anyway, that's my super useless automation here. <laughs> Huzzah. Um, well, that was time well spent. Good on me. Oh, I better put my clothes back on. There we go. Uh, are you still doing stuff? Oh, there we go. We're all good. Uh, has it been seven hours yet? No, it hasn't been. I've got an idea. I'll wait a bit longer. Um, and seriously, I've got to paint this floor up here. I can. It's annoying me from upstairs or downstairs. Uh, so I've got to... Why not? Uh, what's a kitchen coloured floor? Well, that's better than purple. I've got to do something with this space. That just doesn't seem right. Uh, right. But you're not about to blow up. You've got to get to 11 before you blow up. You're only nine, uh, so we're good. Uh, but there we go. That's you going. So I've got to put up some more kitchen stuff there for making stuff. And as I say, we'll make our more fertilizer, and we should be good. Uh, I'd probably a little bit more clean up in there, but uh, I will get to that. Now, our next item is. Um, probably plant some of them for us. Good. Our water is still 11. It's making profit. Not great, but it's making profit. Well, I could probably you pull you lot out, because you are... Uh... Oh, she's still going down. 116 now. Um... We'll see. Uh, right. So you're all good, you're all good. Now probably a few other things we had to do. Uh, let's say we're waiting for our um for our new new suits to come out before I start messing around with the chip because that might be something new that comes in. Uh we did get our fuel mixer done last time, so I can cut that off there. Um We've oh we got our Water purifier done too, didn't we? Oh, oh another one off the list. Uh, now, I should probably knock off something else here. Now, it's, um, I probably would like to put up a cryogenics. Um, oh, what's wrong with my, oh, you work. Uh, so I would like to get some cry cryogenics up so as I can start making fuel because I really would like to have a, I mean we can we can do gas powered rockets there but um, I've done that before and that's just too easy we're doing about trying new things there so I would like to get some uh, uh, some cryogenics up so I can make liquid fuel so I can really mess around with rockets of course, nothing else, just rockets. And that'll probably take a while to do, so um, I can probably knock off some of these other things while we're waiting for, the, for that to go. So uh, I shall need uh, probably some tanks. Uh, ice, I've got some ice crushers outside. I can repurpose them. I'll need to heap of tanks, these tanks. Uh, I shall need some liquid tanks. I shall need... I'll uh, probably probably uh, heat exchanges and that sort of stuff. We'll try and do it with our um, phase change because yeah, I've I've spammed air conditioners before and uh, 
we've done that before so let's do something try play with the new stuff now what do we have to do uh, let's say we'll probably want tanks um, so I shall want some insulated tanks uh, four unless I've already got some then I'll need less uh, I got some uh, okay well that solves that so I shall need tanks I shall need the liquid tanks um, so I need to decide how I'm going to do this so I shall want oops oxy oxygen uh, you oh crap look at that that's not a good graph so I've got to get down to minus 117 degrees to get it to liquefy I have to be between in the liquid range above the ice range which is minus 216 I think I'll be able to safely stay above that minus 117 so I've got to have something that can cool down to minus 117 um, if I want a phase change I need something that's going to be liquid capable at minus 117 um, so I shall grab my uh, hydrogen what a sweet hydrogen okay just different to volatiles okay nice uh, so volatiles okay so volatiles look like they go down to minus 81 degrees so if I get the liquid volatiles I can use that to cool the um, cool the oxygen nice so we want uh, volatiles yoink you so yeah what's that minus 78 we can start to liquefy but we've got to get it down to that temperature first so our coolant to cool them is not going to be carbon dioxide because that just doesn't go down cold enough uh, water definitely won't be no nitrogen oh no nitrogen's even colder so I don't want nitrogen I think pollutant goes down that far Ooh, not by much but it does overlap with pollutant and our nitrous oxide is not going to work either I don't suppose pollutant water doesn't freeze no pollutant my stink doesn't work as antifreeze uh, yeah. okay so it looks like pollutant is what we're going to go for so we'll have to capture pollutant use that to cool down enough to liquefy the oxygen uh, sorry the volatiles which we can then use to liquefy the oxygen there's not a lot of transfer on this because that goes to pollutants will freeze at minus uh, 100 and the liquef liquefaction for the volatiles starts at about 80 so we've only got 20 degrees of um, passive cooling in there so that might be quite slow uh, I think that's how we're going to have to do it if we're going to do it this way uh, so uh, insulated liquid tanks I shall need four of them as well Uh, fine well you still got plenty of stuff there not a problem I need them I shall need to grab some frames which I have uh, oh um, the frames sheets would be nice as well I've got to have sheets somewhere 
Ah, there we go. Plenty of them. And nine frames. That should do us. Uh, so we need somewhere to put this. Um, so where are we going to go? Uh, probably out the back. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll need some heat exchangers as well. Did I have any of them left over? Direct heat exchangers. Um, Counterflows. No, and I need a source of pollutants as well. I am getting pollutants from... A furnace. Well, I do have pollutants coming out of the water burner. So that's coming out of there at um get out of my way hud that's coming out of there 11 percent pollutants i could put a filter on there to capture that um oh okay that's not a real happy pipe that one is it uh so we have Tiny amount of pollutant coming out of there. But it is cold and it is free. Uh, lots, well, more pollutant in there, not lots. Um, I could filter it out of there I'll get it out of here before it gets to the end um probably easier to get it while it's hot and I'll have to cool it down um I don't know and I could put it put my cryogenics plant Ooh, somewhere. I suppose I'm going to need ice, though, aren't I, if I'm going to do that? Which means... You can get back to work. Don't give me that grumpy face. Uh, so everything is still switched on. You, you're not going to put it in there. Oh, you got to go to the waypoint first, that's right. So if I put a cryogenics plant, maybe just out the back here. My rockets are going to go somewhere over elsewhere. Uh, probably should wait till daytime to plan all that out, shouldn't I? Uh, anyway, did you empty that out? You didn't... You want to empty it out? Oh, I've pulled the return lever. Sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, go to the waypoint. Sorry, my bad. I'm giving bad instructions there. Um, yep. Yeah. Now I have. I've got little thingos on there. Is that light off. It's a bit too bright. We've got plenty of gas in there, or, well, not plenty. But I can pull that out, and I can run the um, doohickey there off the fuel that we're now making in there. And I didn't leave a pipe out here to access it. Now, did you? You did drop it off that time. You're doing good. Well done. Um, uh... Yep. Yep, four in there, we're good. So I will Yeah, we'll wait till daytime. We'll wait till daytime and we'll start building that thing. So I shall need storage. So I'll need um 
Well, we'll make a fair bit. So I'll need, uh, say, two tanks for the volatile storage and one tank for the oxygen because we want a two to one mix and we want more silicon. Well, I suppose that's no surprise. We just spent a heap of it. Uh, I have a 500 of them. Now, I've got a heap of them, so I should want. I want two tanks for hydrogen. One tank for oxygen, a tank for our pollutant, that's our four tanks. We want the liquid tanks to match them that we'll drain it into. Uh, so I shall need the uh, heat exchangers. Do I need one of them? I can do that. I won't need it. Can do it. Um, yeah, maybe just the one. That'll do us. Um, I shall need the uh, uh, heat exchange devices. They'll probably just need an evaporator. I need a couple of valves. I shall need some storages. Uh, I shall need a heap of liquid pipes. Insulated. Uh, probably you. A heap of valves. Which I don't have. Uh, probably not you. Pick you. Uh, regulators. Grab uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so then, why not? Now, daytime is here. Uh, let's go out and have a look and see where we want to do this stuff. I don't have any CO2 in my water, so I can't go and have a look at my shower alarm. Oop. You're not moving. Oh, yes, you are. That's okay. We're good. Now, our rockets can go... I don't know. Over there somewhere. Now, if I put a cryogenics plant over here, I don't want it to be too far away. Or do I? It might explode. Maybe we'll put a little bit away. Uh, gotta get power to it. Oh, I don't want it to be too far away. Yeah, we'll see. Um, oh, you're there. Let's go build it on this hill, perhaps. So if we're going to have uh, volatiles, we'll be cooling down the volatiles to cool down the oxygen. So if I have any volatiles there, my oxygen sits there. Well, that's not what I wanted. Try again. Yeah, put that in my backpack, then I can't use it again. So you can go there. I shall need up my cooling system. Uh, I can go here, which will consist of uh Hot end. Uh, I didn't bring out me 
can bring out my um thing me jigger the uh the um cooling heat exchange now the uh what do you call it evaporation device you i shall need a that's that's not what i wanted I wanted a count of didn't I print out did I print out the wrong one? Ass. Um right, so I'll need to do that then. And I'll have to fill these up with gas too, so ugh, I probably really don't want them too far away, do I? Okay. Large, okay, I did print an extra large one. You idiot. So, a heat exchanger, a counterflow heat exchanger. Thank you very much. I'll take ye. And we wanted the phase change. Phase change device. when you're ready and all the insulated pipes I can carry which I have in my hands and I want some insulated water pipes which I don't think I have got yet um, pipe. So, uh, where are you? There you are. Make me a cup, couple of a couple of stacks of them. Okay. Now, yeah. I'll sort out an atmospheric kit so I can get my pollutant. Okay. So if I have my cold end for my pollutant just this end, that's where my liquid will be. I need you. Uh, let's just um, maybe swap them around. Put you to here. Put you to. There, you put the cooling side out to there, and my heat exchanger can go into a liquid one. Uh, you're going the wrong way. You can go into there. Oh, fine, go there then. Right. You often turn you around as well. Right, have I finished moving stuff around in random ways? Oh, I think I could still move some stuff around a bit more. Okay, you can go there. That'll be enough shifting stuff around. So, if I weld you up, now I want a wrench first, don't I? Wrench, and then a welder. Alright. good all right so the liquid I'll need some condensation valves on this one oh so I'll need some sort of a heat sink on this side which I shall need for this to liquefy on this side so I want some condensation valves probably multiples Oh, okay. Uh, 
Drill. Come here. Ah, uh, that'll do us. We'll find out. It'll soon tell us if it wants more than that. I shall... Grab it. Yay. There. 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 And down. Into my tank. And the outside of this needs to go to you. Which I can get past there. Uh, you uh, go to there, 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 and the liquid pipes I don't have, and I need more insulated pipes. Okay, and that's more insulated pipes, and probably an atmospherics kit to start collecting that which means I need a lot more pipes to start pressurizing that up now, even if it's just collecting pollutant now that's the main thing I want to do and Amy's getting the ice I'm going to need I have to look the crushes up to it uh, and and do I do have enough of them? Well, probably not, but I've got more than not much. I shall grab some pipes for you. Make me a couple of stacks of them. And we go back out through the airlock again. A bit of a roundabout backwards and forwards thing. Right, you. You're still moving. We're good. Now, I'm going to regret having this this far away, aren't I? Oh well. Right. You. 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 Uh, you, nope, you, you. Right, now I've got to cool down this tank. Uh, I could just do it with a vent and a heat exchanger. Now, so I want one of those large heat exchangers again, and I'll get a vent and we'll just suck in gas from there, and it will be continually cooling down this tank, which will cool the pollutants into a liquid. For liquid. Which flows over to here, which we can then evaporate. Cool this. So our nighttime temperature, we want to get to minus a hundred. So our our pollutants. You know, that's our pollutants have a latent heat of two kilojoules per mole, and a specific heat of uh, 24.8 kilojoules so if I evaporate one mole it should uh, absorb 2,000 joules of energy and 2,000 joules should be enough to change the temperature of the pollutant by about 80 degrees so we are limited that 80 degrees is the most temperature drop we can get out of a single phase change of this one. So it means my liquid coming in, if I want to get a temperature of minus 100, my liquid coming in will have to be minus 20 at most. Uh, less, less is better. So if during the daytime we're 20 degrees here, that's probably not going to cut the mustard so I am going to have to put a purge valve into here uh, you so that will try and evaporate the liquid on this side 
and cool the liquid down before it gets fed into there. Right, so this is in effect, uh, so you can think of it as being a very complicated uh, closed system, or you can think that uh, we have a condenser here, which is separate from our evaporator here, which is separate from our evaporator here, and they're all doing the same thing again. So whatever comes out of here is cooled very cold, goes into here to try and cool down the incoming liquid. So even if we cool it to zero degrees here, it then gets cooled even further by the outgoing gas, which should be around about minus 100 degrees, if we're cooling it to its maximum, which should cool down the incoming stuff. This will then try and forcibly evaporate some of the extra coolant in the pipe dropping the temperature even further. So we've got an extra cooler of the liquid here. Then the liquid, cooled liquid goes into here to actually cool the rest of the stuff. So we should, we've essentially got two stages running there. So that should be able to give us at a maximum about 160 degrees of cooling. And it should be enough to do it. So I'll need a vent and a heat exchanger and a racer. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. I'm faster than you. I can run around in circles. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. I'm being mean. You're doing a great job. Yay, positive. Ah, uh, so we've got our pipes. I need my vent, uh, which we have. Nope. Nope. Uh, active vents. There we go. Oh, and I'll need one of them too, one I to let it out. And my heat exchanger, which was over here, which I printed out completely deliberately because I knew I'd need it. And I want more frames. Uh, I probably need a heap of them for me rockets anyway, so let's just do that as well. Right, and then I'm going to have to hook up the... In there. Atmospherics kit? Nope. Nope. I don't have any atmospherics kits. Really, where have I been using them? I haven't been putting... I haven't been putting in filters. I've put in other stuff, though. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, right. Oh, give me them. direction yep there we are now I've got to cool this tank because that's where all the heat's going so here to be sucked out of there via this one pass through there and be condensed here and as the cold gas condenses it gets hotter uh, so you go on to there uh, put you um, well done. Yeah. Oh, let's put one more down just for the sake of luck. Okie dokie. Now we needed the heat exchanger. 
which will just be a, a guess to guess one. And I need pipes, I think. A wrench and a welder and sheets. Bingo, there you are. Now I can grab you with the wrench. And I just want to tap into that for dumping the heat out. That'll be the pollutant into a closed system there, which is sealed at both ends. And our heat will just be transferred out via, um, I don't need that, it's going to be an open system to the other side where I just going to suck in atmospheric gas and uh, use that to cool everything there. So I you do I not grab oh I didn't grab a passive vent well there you go well I need one of them so you can go there you should suck in cold gas which will drain the heat out of this which will allow it to condense which will pass it through to here which will allow it to cool down even further once it hits this and then go through to the Go through to here and cool that one. So I'll need to put a condenser in there, fill them up with hydrogen, and we should be good. Or well, volatiles. Hydrogen's different. Uh, so this should all need to be filled with pollutant now. Which I should probably collect from my water burner. I'm gonna need a lot of pipes to get over there now. Why did I build it so far away? Whose stupid idea was that? Um but anyway, I need to hook that up and claim some volatiles, uh, uh, pollutant, yeah, random gas of some sort. And start, well, basically just got to let it fill up first. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I'll do that. Uh, but that's going to take a long time, laying all those bloody pipes and putting in the cell putty. I'll put a filter onto that. Get out the hot. Well, well I've got to I can cool it down pretty easily, so it doesn't matter if I'm getting it out hot. I need to get power over there. Oh, power over there. I need main power. Oh, that's miles away. I I might pull it apart and move it closer. Ah, <laughs> uh, but anyway, I've got to do that. I'll probably run out of time now, but I shall. Yeah, I'll, I'll move that closer and um, connect the power and connect the pollutants up and let it start to fill. And you're doing stuff. 36. You're doing all right. Uh, but that will probably do us for today. Um. Not the most successful build out, but we did get a pointlessly automated shower. Which is about as useful as one of those Japanese talking toilets. Ah, uh. uh, we don't know if the air is working. Yeah. La 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 la. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would I do that? Ah, uh, it's done. Anyway, that's uh, that's totally pointless, but it's done. Uh, so, but that's about it for today. So, until next time, happy building. See ya.